the federal government has restated the importance of gas as a power source during the transition phase from from all renewable to renewable energy. Now, this was made known by the Minister of Power, Abu Bakr Aliyu, at the meeting edition of the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Association Alliance Conference in Abuja on Tuesday. Amadine Ogwewe has more on the report. The Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Association's Alliance Conference kicked off in Abuja on Tuesday. The two-day conference had the theme optimizing opportunities in energy transition value chain. While delivering the keynote speech, the Minister of Power, Abu Bakr Aliyu, noted that gas as a source of energy ought to be optimized in the road to achieving renewable energy sustainability. While we move towards net zero scenarios in the coming years, Nigeria must take full advantage of its most readily available transition fuel gas. This is one area to look out for. Take advantage of and optimize. It is also critical to know when to limit investment in the gas value chain as we move to electric sources, especially electric vehicles. We are going all over the world nowadays, bringing in people to come and, 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 and assist and, and, and work with us. Our major challenge is how to fund these projects. You know that. So, uh, and those challenges present themselves as business opportunities. On his part, the Chairman Steering Committee of the REEEAA, Imamuddin Talba, spoke about the dependence of Nigeria's economy on crude oil. We need to create the balance. How do you address the balance equation? That is achieving uh, SDG 7, that's access of electricity to the people. And then SDG 13, that is climate change. We need to sit down and rhyme this to and say how to go about it. It is not saying that Nigeria is just go now avoid gas. We cannot avoid gas. That is true. But our road now achieving this. We let down now. The building should be let down. By 2030, well, then after 2030, we can write what we That's why we say we should define the role of public energy in the context of the climate change, in the context of the national commitments that were submitted by Nigeria. The Chairman Board of Trustees of the REEEAA, Abu Bakr Sambo, shed more light on the effect of renewable energy on climate change. Let's use our gas and develop. Uh, indeed, the entire African continent, and that's why you hear this cleaner uh, uh, fuel. Gas has a carbon footprint slightly less than half of that of coal, about 40% of coal, which is why if we use it along with the in, 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 in electricity, along with renewables, we move, and if we use it in transportation sector, along with compressed natural gas, uh, rejigging our own cars to take natural gas along with electric vehicles so we move into cleaner energy pathway and after some time we'll go straight 100 percent clean energy pathway as the federal government shines a light on gas and forces collaboration with the private sector it has also begun plans to achieve 30 percent renewable energy by 2030 driven by recent policy amadine reporting for captain television